We continue now at the top of Daf Lam and Gimel of an Aleph and Maseches Yuma. This is Yuma Daf 33a. The Gemara is in the middle of a comment by Reish Lakish. Reish Lakish says that I might have thought that when the Kohen Gadol shechs the Karben Tamer on Yom Kippur, if the second Kohen doesn't finish up the Shechita, I might have thought that it's possible Midra Abonan. Lekach Shaninu, that's why the Mishnah has to repeat and say again, Rov Echad Ba'ov, Rov Shnayim Be'Behema. You only need to shech the majority of the Simon by the Ov and the majority of two Simonim by the Be'Hema. As Rashi over here says, Lekach Shaninu, Mi Mishnah Yaseir, that's why we have an extra Mishnah. That's why this halach is repeated. It said one by chulin. It said once by kachim. The idea again is that you do not need, uh, even on a derabbanan level, for that second kohen to uh, to finish the shechita of the carbon tamid. As long as the kohen gadol did the majority of the two simanim, that's good enough. In any case, now Rashi says, what's the point of bringing this reish lakish? ben lakish from the fact that Rabbi Shimon ben lakish says that that mishnah and shechita is explaining what's going on here in Yom Kippur. Shema mina kardsu dahacha barov shnayim. So you see they're related, and you see that the kohen gadol shechts two simanim. It's exactly the same case. The kohen gadol shechts two simanim of the carbon tamid, and the whole point of Reish Lakish is once the kohen gadol shechts the two simanim. So if the other kohen does not finish it off, it's not going to be possible midra bonim. So the Gemara now continues, Now one second. If there's not even a P'sul de Rabban, and if the second Kohen doesn't finish the Shechita, what's even the point at all of finishing off the Shechita? Why do you have to have the second Kohen at all? The first Kohen, the Kohen Gadol, did the Shechita properly. He checked the majority of Tusi Manim. And to that, the Gemara says, Mitzvah Lamarek, it's simply a Mitzvah to finish off the Shechita. Rashi says, Mitzvah Lamarek, it's, it's better because the blood comes out better from the animal. In other words, it's a mitzvah lechatzchila for the second kohen to finish off the shechita. But if it if it doesn't happen, it's not going to be possible even on a derabbanan level. The Gemara continues. Abaya misader ma'arochem mishmei the Gemara. Abaya said the sequence of the daily services in the name of the Gemara. Vali b'davashal according to Abashal as follows. Ma'arochem gedola kodemes l'ma'arochem shnei shal ketores. The large arrangement of the water on the mizbeach that was before the second arrangement that was made for the ketores. Ma'arochem shnei shal ketores kodemes l'sidur shnei gezira eight. Him. The second arrangement for the Ketores, that came before the arrangement of the two logs of wood on the Mizbeach. The arrangement of those two logs came before the cleaning out of the ashes of the inner Mizbeach. The cleaning out of the ashes of the inner Mizbeach came before the cleaning out of five of the candles of the menorah. And the cleaning out of those five candles, Kodem Ladam Atomid, was before the blood of the carbon Tomid. The blood of the carbon Tomid came before the cleaning out of the remaining two candles of the menorah. The cleaning out of the two candles came before the ketores, or ketores, the incense service, or ketores, kodemes, le, kodem leivorim. The ketores came before the evarim, which is the burning of the limbs on the mizbeach. The evarim le mincha, the evarim came before the carbon mincha, or mincha le chavitin, the carbon mincha came before the chavitin, which was the griddle cake offering of the kohen gadol. The chavitin le nesachin, the chavitin came before the nesachin, the libations, or nesachin le musafin, the libations come before the carbon musaf, or musafin le vazichin. The musafin come before the bazichin. That's the frankincense that goes along with the with the lechem upon him. Uvazichin letamid shall beno arboyim, and the bazichin come before the carbon tamid of the afternoon. And Abaya finishes shenamar like the pasuk says vehikter alei chelve hashlomim. It says on it, meaning on the carbon tamid shall shachar. That's where you bring all the rest of the carbonus alei hashleim kol carbonus kulan. And that carbon, meaning that carbon tamid of the morning, that's what you got to do all the carbonus on. Meaning nothing should be brought after the carbon tamid shall bein. Harbayim and Rashi over here explains Abaya's statement. Abaya misader ma'arocha mishmei the Gemara again. Abaya arranged the sequence of the service of the daily service. Mona seder avodo shall call yom v'yom. He counted. He enumerated the order of the avoda each and every day. Mishmei the Gemara. The kula yeshiva the rabbanon. The Beit Midrash. This was in the name of the Gemara, meaning in the name of all the rabbanon of the of the base medrash. The aliba da avashal. This follows avashal. The omer beparakama hatavas kol haneros kodem kodemes leketores. It follows avashal's opinion. Opinion, that in general you finish cleaning out all the neros of the menorah before you do the service of the katoras of the incense. And now Rashi explains each item here in the list. Meaning the large fire on the Mizbeach, that you're burning everything in that fire on the Mizbeach. That comes before the other Marocha they set up, the other fire that they set up on the Mizbeach, that was in the southwestern corner of the Mizbeach. 
and Dalit Amos. It was four Amos away from the corner. Let's add Safan a little towards the north. Kiritanan b'Meseches Tamid, like we said in Meseches Tamid. Now, what was that second Maracha for? Shel Ketores. That second Maracha was for the Ketores, was for the incense burning. Shemi Mena Choten Gecholim, because they would take from that fire, they would take some coals. Lahachnes l'Mizbeach Pnimi, and they would bring them into the inner Mizbeach. Shachar is Viarvis in the morning and in the evening. Lahakter Allah Ketores Tamid Pras Shachar is to Pras Ben Arbaim. That's what they did. They burned the Ketores, the incense on there. Uh, half of it was born in the, it was burned in the morning, and half of it was burned on there in the afternoon. Lasidr Shnei Gezira, and then that came before again, the two logs, Shemesadr Nal Ma'arach Gedola, they would arrange these two logs on the large Ma'arach on the Mizbeach, V'kulu Taimim Mefarsh Lekameh, the reason for all of these will be explained later, L'dam HaTamid, Dam HaTamid refers to L'shchita V'lezriko, refers to the shechting of the carbon Tamid and the sprinkling of the blood, Ketores refers to Shal Mizbeach HaPnimi, again, that's the incense that they burned on the inner Mizbeach, Kodemes Le'evarn, that comes before the Evarn, meaning, L'haktir Evarn HaTamid Al Mizbeach HaChitzon, they used to burn the Avarim from the carbon tamid on the outer Mizbeach. La Mincha, what carbon Mincha are we talking about? Minchas Nisko Shel Tamid Viniskehen, Dechsiv Asiris or Eifa Solas La Mincha. This was a carbon Mincha that went along together with the carbon tamid, talks about the Asiris or Eifa Solas La Mincha in the Pasuk, and then Linasachan, they also had a libation, Lenase Chieno Shel Tamid. There was wine that accompanied the carbon tamid as well. Unasachan, Lemusaf, and the libations come before the carbon Musaf. Im Shabbos, meaning if it is Shabbos, then that comes before the carbon Musaf and the Pasuk that shows all of this, Shanemar v'hikdar ala achel ve'ashlamim ve'darish lei lashen hashlama, meaning they're taking the word shlamim, which refers to carbon shlamim, but they're darshaning it as a hashlama, completion. Alea al ha'ola tamin shal shachar, meaning upon the carbon tamin of the morning, ho'amura b'rosh ha'mikra, which is mentioned at the beginning of that Pasuk, Shanemar v'yarach alea ha'ola v'hikdar v'hosef v'hishlam acharek kolar karbonos, so in other words, you bring that carbonola in the morning, the carbon tamid shel shachar, and you finish all carbonos after that. Velo al shel bein harbaim. You don't finish anything after the the carbon tamid shel bein harbaim. That's your last carbon. Limed al tamid shel bein harbaim shu achron lechalak carbonos. The point over here is this teaches us that the carbon tamid of bein harbaim is the last of all the carbonos. And now the Gemara continues and analyzes the statement of Abayo Amar Mar. The master said Marocha gedola kodemes lemarocha shnir shel ketoros. It said the large arrangement of wood that came. Before the second arrangement that was for the Ketores. Minolan, how do you know this? Titania, as we learned in Abraisa, he ha'ola al mokta al mizbeach kol halayla. When it says this is the carbonola on the fire on the mizbeach, what does it refer to? Zuma rocha gedola, that refers to the large arrangement of the wood that comes first. V'yesh ha mizbeach tu kadbo, and then when the Pasuk says the fire that's on the mizbeach, zuma rocha shniya shal Ketores. That's a reference to the ma'rocha shniya of Ketores. Gemara says, maybe it should be the opposite. Maybe the Ma'arocha that we're calling the Ma'arocha Shnia, the one of the Ketoras, should really go first. Gemara says, Mistavra, it makes sense. Ma'arocha Gedola Adifa, that the Ma'arocha Gedola is better. Shekain Kapora Samaru, because there's a lot of Kapora on that Ma'arocha. You bring all the different uh, Karbonus, we'll see in Rashi, on that particular Ma'arocha. The Gemara says, Adrav, on the contrary, Ma'arocha Shnia Adifa. Maybe the second Ma'arocha is greater. Shekain Machnisin Mimeno Lifnim, because again, you're taking from there, you're bringing inside. The Ketoras goes into the base Hamikdash. Gemara says, "Afilu achi." Nevertheless, kaporasim ruba adifa. The fact that there's a lot of kapara that is better, that is preferred. Ve'ibay isem, or if you want, I could say another answer. Ilo mishkach etzim l'marocha shni. If you don't have wood for the second arrangement of wood, milo ma'ayil mi marocha gedola. Aren't you going to bring it in for the marocha gedola? Meaning the marocha gedola is good as well to bring inside the base on mikdash for the ketores. Rashi over here says, "Mokta lashon meduras etzim v'chein tukad." The language of mokda is a, is a language of an arrangement of wood that you're burning. Then the second part of the Pasuk refers to the Ma'arach HaShniyah. Teaches us that the second Ma'arach should be on the outer Mizbeach. And from there, you bring coals for the inner Mizbeach. And the Gemara says, V'yepach, maybe it should be the reverse. L'hakti ma'arocha shal ketores. Maybe the ma'arocha shal ketores should be first. Ukra kesidura da behekter kol alay l'koi. Pasuk would still be going in order because it's talking about the burnings that are going on all night. Kaparosa meruba said the ma'arocha gedol is more kapara, meaning, she'olea maktirim kol hakol haktoros chutz min haktoros lifnim laechol. Because that original ma'arocha, the ma'arocha gedola, all burnings are done on that ma'arocha except for the ketores that you bring into the heichol. So therefore that's better because that's the 
the uh, that's more kapara. And then the Gemara said milo ma'ayil, meaning if you didn't have the ma'aracha shnia, you could use the ma'aracha gedola for the katoras as well. Nim says af hagedola ruil if nim it comes out, even the ma'aracha gedola is really fit to be brought into the beis hamikdash. So therefore, it's clear that the ma'aracha gedola comes first. The Gemara continues again, quoting the statement of Abaya ma'aracha shnia shel katoras kodemis l'sidor shnei gezirayt, and it says the second ma'aracha that's for the katoras, that's for the incense that comes before the arrangement of the two logs of wood. Menol and how do you know that that is the order? As the Pasuk says, It says that on top of the Marocha Gedola, you're going to burn the eights and the two logs of wood, and we darshan Allah of You do it on the Marocha Gedola and not on the Marocha Shneel Shal Ketores. Mechlal, the Isla Chaverta. That implies that the Marocha Shneel Shal Ketores has already been arranged, that it's present, but you just don't put the two logs of wood on there. Gemara says, But what do you mean? The word Allah, why are we darshaning Allah of Allah al Allah is needed to say where you put it. You take these two pieces of wood and you put it on it. You put it on the Marocha Gedola. And on that, the Gemara says, Trey Alexiv, it says the word Allah two times. So one of them is actually extra. Rashi over here says, Uvir Allah, a Marocha Gedola Kai. We know we're going on the Marocha Gedola. The Samach Leifa Aruch Allah, Eitzim Bez It says you put on there the two Eitzim. Again, there's the word Allah two times. Since it says it two times, we darshan Allah, Velo Al Chaverta. So therefore, you know you've already arranged the Marocha Shnir Shal Ketores. And the Gemara continues, Sidor Shnir. It says the arrangement of the two logs of wood on the Mizbeach, that would come before the cleaning of the ashes of the Mizbeach, of the inner Mizbeach. Not even though by the Eitzim, it says you do that each morning. And by the Dishon Mizbeach, it also uses the same terminology. If nevertheless, the Machshir, which Rashi will explain, the Shnei Gezirei Eitzim, that comes first. Rashi over here says, Over here, by the Dishon Mizbeach, where does it say? Because it says, It talks about preparing the neiros of the menorah, and, it's all, and it says, which refers to the ketores. We also darshan, that refers to the cleaning out of the mezbech apnimi, via tovev ha And of course, it's also going on the preparation of the neiros, and it's also going on the ketores. That's what it means when it says, Now, the ketores is only going to be after the dishan, after the cleaning out of the ashes. And the Gemara said, if the reason why the Shnei Gezir Eitzim goes first is because it's a machshir, meaning hamachshir umesakin es hadover hazeh kodmo, something that prepares the matter is going to go first. The Eitzim machshire ketores heim. Now the wood is really a preparation for the ketores. Share Eitzim heina machshire nes haketores. The Eitzim are the preparation. That's what's going to be used to burn the ketores. Therefore, the Eitzim are going to go first, and the Dishim is beach apnimi. That's going to go after. But the Gemara still questions this idea of. Machshir, Machshir Maini, what are you calling the Machshir? Shnei Gezirei Eitzim, you're saying the Shnei Gezirei Eitzim are the Machshir. Vio Amr, Shnei Gezirei Eitzim, L'marocha Gedola, Azli. But you said before the Shnei Gezirei Eitzim, that's not what's used for the Mizbech HaPnimi to burn the Ketores, that the Shnei Gezirei Eitzim go on the Marocha Gedola. That goes on the larger arrangement of the wood for the fire. So what does that have anything to do with the Hechshir for the Ketores? So the Gemara says, Amr, Rabbi Yirmiya, Shum Eitzim. Rabbi Yirmiya says, yeah, but Eitzim in general are for the Ketores. So even though not these specific Eitzim, but Eitzim in general are going to come first. Ravina Amar Ravina says, Hoel v'hischel b'marocha gomer. He gives a, re- a different reason altogether. Since you've already begun doing the marocha, so you should finish with the Shnei Gezirei Eitzim. That should go first again, and then you're going to get to the Dishon Mizbeach HaPnimi. And Ravashi Amar Ravashi says a third answer, Ilo mishkach Eitzim l'marocha shniya, milo ma'ayl m'marocha gedola. Like we said before, if you don't have any wood for the marocha shniya, can't you bring wood from the marocha gedola? that that can be used for the uh, for the Ketoris and the Inner Mizbeach, so it really fundamentally can be used as a preparation, so it's called a Machshir. Rashi over here says, Machshir ma'ininu Machshir dohocha b'maya sakta b'shnei gezir eitzim. When you talk about a Machshir, we're talking about the shnei gezir eitzim. V'hol ha'marocha gedola, Azli. That's not used for the uh, Inner Mizbeach. V'ein ha'machshir e Ketoris, and that's not used as a Hechshir for the Ketoris. That comes from, again, the ma'arocha shniya. And so the first answer was, again, shum eitzim, we're talking about wood in general. Afagav dahani lav le ketores azli, even though these particular logs of wood are not used for the ketores, shame eitzim machshire ketores hain. Eitzim in general are considered machshire ketores. And the Gemara continues again, quoting Abaya v'dishon mizbeach apnimi, the cleaning out of the ashes of the inner mizbeach, kodem latovas chomish neiros, that comes before cleaning out the five of the candles of the menorah. My time, and what's the reason for this? And the Gemara says, Amar Abaya, Abaya says, Gemara gemirna, 
Svar lo yadana. This is a tradition, but we do not know the reason. Rashi says, Gemara gemirna shekein sidron. This is the tradition that this is the order. Svar lo yadana lo says tam lo davr midaiti. I cannot give a reason for this from my own understanding. The Rav Amar Barava says, Ki Reish Lakish. This follows what Reish Lakish says. The Amar Reish Lakish, because Reish Lakish says, Ein ma'avir na'la mitzvahs. You're not supposed to pass up mitzvahs. And again, that will explain this Dijon HaMizbeach HaPnimi. Rashi says, Ein ma'avir means ha'pogeya b'mitzvah lo yavor mimenu. Once you meet, once you meet a mitzvah, you can't pass it up. V'nafgolon b'mechilto miyushmartem es ha'matzos kori be'as ha'mitzvahs. We learn the Pasuk of shmartem es ha'mitzvahs. You have to watch the mitzvahs lo tamten lo shet don't allow a mitzvah that it should ferment, that it should become old, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Lamed Gimel Amud Beis.